If you're finding yourself getting angry after a losing trade or highly emotional while trading the markets, I'm gonna share something with you in this video that will help. There's a story about an ancient Tao farmer that lived up in the mountains in a village. And one day one of his horses ran away and all the village people came to this man and said, how unlucky are you? You've lost your only horse for farming. And all he said was, maybe. And the next day, his horse returned with a whole pack of wild horses. And all the village people came back to that farmer and they said, look how lucky you are. You're the richest man in the village. And all he said was, maybe. A week later, that farmer was woken up by his son screaming in the paddock. He was riding one of the wild horses and the horse threw him off its back and the son broke his leg. And all the village people came back to that farmer and said, you're the most unlucky person in this village. And all the farmer said was maybe. And the next month, the emperor stormed into the village because he was conscripting all the young men to go to war. But the farmer's son couldn't go because of his broken leg. And all the village people came back to that farmer and said, look how lucky you are. You're the luckiest man in this village. And all the farmer said was maybe. And although the village people struggled to see the broader perspective, they got caught up in the outcome of each of those individual events and they were labeling those events good or bad because of it the farmer had more of a, a bigger vision he could see a broader perspective and he recognized that you can't judge events in isolation there's a string of cause and effect and it's very difficult to judge an individual event as good or bad because you don't know what type of a consequence comes from that and what happens as a result of that event so what i wanted to do was i wanted to bring this as a little bit of an analogy to today's masterclass to share a perspective with you that will help when you're trading. And you know, as traders, we get so caught up in focusing on the individual outcome of a trade that really our emotional volatility looks something like this. When we win, we're very happy and we think we're doing good. And when we lose, we, we beat ourselves up and we think we're doing something wrong. And we go through these oscillations, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. And really it's our emotions go happy, sad, happy, sad. And there are some traders that go through quite extreme volatilities that when they're doing very, very good and they're winning, they feel elated and they run all these ideas and all these thoughts about how successful they're going to be, how much money they're going to make and how good life is. And then the dopamine's running high and they feel really, really good. And then the next week they start to take loss, 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 loss. And then they go into this doom thinking, this depressive thinking state about how terrible life is and how poor of a trader they are or how terrible of, of a human being they are and everything that could go wrong. So a lot of these traders go through elation and depression, these oscillations. And this can happen within the day, really. These oscillations can happen quite frequently so as a trader, you have to understand how to manage these oscillations and how to keep yourself more balanced and more streamlined, just like the farmer did. He never really got elated or depressed. He stayed a little bit more neutral. And he recognized that, all right, I may lose in this individual trade, but in the broader or the larger sample space, this loss is actually just my sample and my edge playing out. So if I put this loss in context of the 100 trades, it's not that big of a deal. And really lowering your emotional volatilities, the volatility of your emotion, how extreme the emotion is, is a function to some degree of expanding your time horizon. So if you, just for an example, if you know you've got one week to pay a bill versus you have one year to pay that bill, the emotion or the resentment towards that bill starts to dampen when you have a longer time horizon to it. So what I encourage traders to do is instead of focusing and it just sticking to the outcome of an individual trade, focus on putting that one individual trade in context of the next 100 trades you have or you take. And really to make sure you actually implement this, it's important, firstly, that you have certainty in your edge. So a lot of traders who get very... Uh, resentful to losing, we get very emotional after they lose, it's usually an indication that they were just going into that individual trade, hoping it was going to be a win, thinking it was going to be a win. That's why they took the trade. 
And because the market didn't provide that to them, they were extremely disappointed. So you need to make sure you go back to your edge and you ensure that you have certainty in each component of the edge. And then number two, you put that into a trading plan so you can ensure that you go off and consistently execute on that. And number three, what I want you to do before every single trade you take is now have an awareness on your expectations of what you think you're going to get from the trade. Because you see, if you're going into a trade thinking you're going to get a certain outcome from the market or expecting a certain outcome from the market, and you're in this outcome based thinking, then what's going to happen is you're going to be seeking a certain outcome on that individual trade, you have no control over the individual trade. So if it is a loss, you're going to be extremely disappointed. But recognize in your larger sample space of 100 trades, you could be a win, it could be a loss, it could be a break even, it could be a loss, loss, win, loss, win, 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 loss, break even. You can't predict the outcome of the next individual trade. But if you're constantly addicted to winning all the time and you want it up here, that feeling of winning, then having a break even or having a loss is going to be is going to be disappointing. It's going to be make you angry, it's going to make you emotional. It depends on the anchor in your mind. So what I'm trying to say here is don't set expectations, no expectations on the outcome of a trade. Get rid of those expectations and the outcome of a trade. And I've put the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool together. It's the free tool in the description to help you do that. And what that Bulletproof Your Mindset tool is going to help you do is it's going to help you bring to surface any expectations you have on the outcome. And it's going to take you through a questioning process to erase those expectations before you trade so that when you take that individual trade, you're thinking more in terms of the larger sample space. You're more like the Dow farmer who isn't attached to a certain outcome that day or that week or that month. And as a result, irrespective of what happens in his environment, he doesn't react to it necessarily. He's less reactive in that moment. And as a trader, you have to have that noble, unreactive mindset where I'm unencumbered whether it's a win or a loss. It really, it, it doesn't matter on the individual trade. What matters is me adhering to my process every single trade I take. I'm going to go back to my trading plan. And then that's really what it's about. Once you have no expectations in the outcome because you've used the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool and you've got your trading plan structured and I've got a free template in the description if you need that for your trading plan, then it becomes about consistently showing up and consistently executing your trading plan with a balanced state of mind with no expectations. And that's when you can start to you know, mimic the mindset of that Dow Farmer, unreactive and you take a loss, okay, cool take a win. Okay, cool. And you just go back to your trading plan. And really, this is where, you know, the, the, the most advanced traders out there talk about how boring trading is. And the reason it's boring is because they're very process based, they're not addicted to a certain outcome. The only reason trading is exciting for traders is because they set these expectations in their mind of what they want. And the market provides that to them, they think on that individual trade. But then when you put it in context of a larger sample space, and you factor in their losses and you factor in what the market's taken, then if you if you look at the bigger picture, then it's it's you, you see the trader going through these wild swings daily or weekly. And believe me, I see it with my coaching clients. So what I what I tell them to do is just just relax a little bit, just chill out a little bit. And um, don't get so attached to the individual outcome. Because if you do, you're gonna go on these wild swings day in, day out. You're gonna ruin your health, you're gonna have so much stress, it's gonna tarnish your relationships, you're not gonna enjoy your life, you're not gonna be grateful for your life. And you're certainly not gonna build consistent wealth through your trading because you're going on these wild swings. So let's take a note from that ancient Dow Farmer's book. Let's be a little bit less reactive. And the way you do that is by focusing on the larger sample space, removing your expectations before every trade, having a solid trading plan with an edge asserted in and consistently showing up every day to execute on that. Okay, if you like this, Please share it with your friends and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.